intro for you today. Hi, I'm Sherilyn. Welcome to Makeup University. Welcome to Wine Wednesday. It's time to review a new screw tap, screw cap wine. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I should have wine, but I'm really hungry. Let me get comfortable. I know you can hear Pete. That's just the way it is, kids. Um, I don't feel good about unplugging his filters, so it's quiet. So we're just gonna just pretend it's like running water. Ooh, you're like out at the waterfall. I saw that Arizona discovered a new waterfall like out in the hiking areas. Like, I'm not gonna say where because they're just precious. But it was nice to know that a new waterfall has been found and I think it has to do everything with since pandemic shut everything down the air got cleaner rivers got cleaner animals they've got the bison down at the ocean's edge in catalina even here there's been more one time i was out when they opened up the griffith park was out hiking with my dog and i found seven deer just like chilling and even last night i saw a raccoon like big fat and i'm pretty sure she was a mama because i was not close to the tree I took her picture, it's on my Instagram, and um, she was hissing at me, so she might have had babies. This is a Wine Wednesday video. This right here, I got this from Grocery Outlet. Just walked on over there and picked up, I'm pronouncing it Petrel. 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 It's a Syrah 2019 from the D.O. Colchagua Valley, Chile. And I want to say this was $7.99. Uh, it is imported by Ivaki in San Luis Obispo. Love the Obispo. And Dio Colchagua Valley, Chile. Petrel is a wonderful bird which nests in the coasts of Colchagua and flies dancing above the waves of the Pacific Ocean. Petrel is therefore a tribute to the best of Chilean nature expressed through their best wines made with a delicate breeze, waves, and winds song of the Pacific Ocean. Petrel, you were a nice wine. And, you know, I like to be harsh and either give it thumbs up or thumbs down. Uh, what was thumbs up is it's a screw cap because even though it's June and I've been saying it, I think since December that I need to get the regular good corkscrew with like the arms, still haven't done it. So I've been really reluctant to get a wine with a cork because I have to use my little plastic one from back in the day, from like 10 years ago of being at the hotel. Petrel, it's, um, I'm here to tell you, it's just one of those wines that was just middle of the road. Was it bad? Nope. Was it good? Nope. Do I want to do it twice? Not really. Are you going to a party and you just want to bring something and you don't want to spend more than 10 bucks and you know it'll be easier to use a screw cap than a corkscrew? Get some Petrel. It'll be fine. But is it, whoa, wow, oh, I really want to savor this with friends and food. No. It could be I've had a really tough week and just have a real grumpy attitude maybe that's why all I know is that I picked it because it had a screw cap I don't know about where you buy groceries or where you go shopping but right now I uh, that the spirit of fear agitation upset condemnation whatever you want to call it Instead of walking in and having it be light, loving, friendly, joyful, enjoyable, it's not. Any store that I've gone into has just been oppressive. And so, meh, meh. Petrel came to me under that environment and I saw the local store Somalia and I was like, hey, can you recommend something under $10? And he recommended this. First, I'd like to point out, it's got this happy. So this was last Shabbat's wine. This week's Shabbat is, I'm pronouncing it, so look at that right there. He recommended this. It's a Pinot Noir, which was like even just looking at it in the bottle, you're like, that's so thin. I just, I like having a recommendation and the sommelier there looks just like Grizzly Adams. 
with the mask on now, Grizzly Masked Adams. He said, try this. And I'm pronouncing that Roots, Roots Cellars 2018 Pinot Noir from Maison Grand Cru, Russian River Valley of Sonoma County. Uh, you're gonna, yeah, at Roots Cellars, we pride ourselves by not cutting corners. Well, all right then. I am gonna get into this on my Shabbat this weekend. I will let you know how it is. As always, if you have a great $10 and under wine that you love, and it's going into summer, so, well, actually, it's pretty hot already. <laughs> um, I would love to know what are you sipping on and what do you recommend? I am thinking I might even just try the White Claw, not because I'm a millennial, but because I just see so much advertising about it kind of thinking I might do a little rosé sipping. I have a pool party coming up and I thought, oh, I might just sip on a little bit of a rosé and, you know, enjoy the pool party. Uh, maybe cut some sangria with some rosé and some pinot. Either way, I'm making a plan. I'm making a sipping plan for uh, travel coming up and pool parties. And so I'm going to follow up next week with the ruts uh, Ruts Russian River Valley. Let's say that five times fast after having a sip. I hope this finds you awesome and enjoying and making the best of pandem post-pandemic days because I feel like uh, we're coming out of it and everything is going on and that we're finding a new footing for how to proceed and we haven't been this way before truly. We have not been this way before, so it might look different. And you just have to learn a new way to do it. So again, let me know what you're sipping on, and I will let you know next week how the Ruts Russian River Valley Pinot Noir from 2018 tastes. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. I'm Cheryl Lynn. This is Makeup University. And remember, you look really gorgeous today.